Hi, good afternoon everyone! Welcome to a very special edition of Mind at Home. I'm Mind Mover Aaron. And I'm Mind Mover Abby. Aaron, ano nga ba sila celebrate natin tuwing March 14, which is 314? March 14, 314. Ah, Pi Day! Oh, Kasi pie yung day. three digits na yun represent the first three numbers of Pi. So, 3.14, tapos and 1, so on and 5. So yes. Oh, oh. Pero, Di ba today is March 16? Ano siya celebrate natin today? Well, today is a very special day because the Mind Museum is celebrating its 9th birthday today. So if you want to post or to comment or to tweet on our pages, you go uh, you post with the hashtags, hashtag happy birthday TMM, hashtag TMM turns 9, and the hashtag mind at home. You can also follow us at the Mind Museum and at Mind School. And also subscribe to our Mind School YouTube channel. Okay, so meron tayong lalaroing very special game today. So hello everyone sa lahat ng ating participants for today's um, very special Mind at Home. Thank you for joining us today and we already see a lot of people greeting us. Uh, right. Happy birthday and people who also said happy Pi Day. So hello again guys. We're so excited to be with you today. Alright, so we'll be today's host and game masters for your today's Kahoot game. So, ano nga bang gagawin natin for today's Kahoot game? So, what are our mechanics, Abby? So, our mechanics natin ay, so this is, of course, a Kahoot quiz. So, players must log on to www.kahoot.it or you can also install the Kahoot app on your smartphone. Tapos, we'll be giving you the game pin. So, participants will be generating their name or their Kahoot game name and then, you're going to have to register at tinyurl.com slash tmm at night. Again, you have to register at tinyurl.com slash tmm at night. So, so that's tmm, yes. letter A, letter T, and then the number 9. So it's very important that you register because we'll be taking your contact information in store. So we also know who to contact for the winners. So... Players who fail to register at the link will be disqualified from receiving the prizes, if any. Alright, so remember to register. First, generate your unique Kahoot game name at kahoot.it. And then the game pin is, alright, so listen carefully, that's 502362. Okay, so again, that's game pin 502362. So on that page, you'll have to register with a unique Kahoot name and then you'll go to tinyurl.com slash tmm at 9 to register your entry. So since it's TMM's 9th birthday, we'll actually be having 9 winners. So these 9 winners will be receiving prizes from the My Museum. So there are a lot of merchandise that we'll be giving away for the winners. So we have them here <laughs> next to us. So, we also want to remind you all that the winners must nominate a Metro Manila address for the delivery of the prizes. So, otherwise, the winners who are not based in Metro Manila or don't nominate a Metro Manila address are going to shoulder the delivery fees. So, right. we just okay. want to remind you about that. Okay, so to clarify that rule, say for example, kung naglalaro po kayo in Cebu or in Davao, if you win one of our nine prizes, you'll have to choose a, a Metro Manila delivery address. So say for example, you have a uh, meron kayong pinsan or your lola, your tita na nakatira dito sa Metro Manila, we can deliver it to it there for free. So the delivery charge will be on us. But we could also deliver it to your actual residence in the provinces. But the winner will have to shoulder the delivery fees for that. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so what are nine prizes natin ngayon, Abby? Oh my God, I'm so excited to talk about the prizes. So for the 9th to 7th place, you will be receiving two each of the adult and the kid TMM reusable face masks. So ang cute niya, di ba? It says here, I need space. Alright, so all our masks here are space themed. Yeah, so yes. that's just like itong I need space. So hindi naman itong mismo yung mga niya, not this one. So but course, something that ones. looks like this. Yes, Alright, so the face mask, you can check out our science themed reusable face mask made from neoprene and spandex layers. Each mask comes with a slit so you can insert your own filter here at the back. 
They come in three designs, museum icons, I need space, like this one, and astronaut, available both in adults and kid sizes. So for the 6th to 4th place winners, you will each be receiving a season pass to the Mind School Online Season 1. So that's very exciting because the Mind School Online is a great show for learning about the sciences and the arts. Alright, so for our third place, so we go to our major prizes. So that will be the Sky Above uh, Science Wonder Kit. Okay, yes. So this includes a lot of activities related to Earth Sciences. So you're, you'll receive this if you win third place. Right, so for our second place, we'll be for the second place, you will actually be receiving the Earth Below kit. So there are also a lot of Earth Science related um, activities in this box, which you can use or which you can look or from which you can learn a lot from. And for the first place, Aaron, what's the first place prize? Ito, nandito siya. In, right here at the very front, the What is Nature Augmented Reality book. Okay, so this will this is what you'll be receiving if you win first place all yes. right so the scores the placing will be determined by the scores that you'll get from the kahoot game we'll play today yes. okay it's very exciting all right so once again remember to generate your unique kahoot name at kahoot.it so that's k-a-h-o-o-t dot it and then use the game pin 502362 after that, you'll have to register at tinyurl.com slash tmm89. That's the, uh, tinyurl.com slash tmm at 9. Okay, so as of now, we have 113 Ooh, participants. Okay, so maraming maraming chance to win. We have 9 prizes for you over here. So uh, just wait and, uh, okay, so we'll have... Let's wait for another two minutes so we can see if others will be joining in. Uh, okay, so say for example, if ma disconnect po kayo during the game, you can still come back. However, the scores, your score will be reset to zero. So yes. that's uh, under Kahoot's control. So kung kaya niyo namang humabol, kung mabilis kayo sumagot, kaya kaya niyo pang makuha yung ating prizes dito. Yes, okay, we so. wish everyone good luck and it's going to be an exciting time for all of us. Alright, so siyempre, Keep your eyes on the price, diba? <laughs> Alright. Okay, so our augmented reality book actually, so since a museum visit is not a, a possible right now, we created another reality for you to know what that wonder sits everywhere. Get your What is Nature? Everything is augmented reality book inspired by the Mind Museum's galleries and exhibits. Witness this awesome book come to life with over 20 augmented reality pieces embedded in the story. Okay, so this book is inspired by our each of our galleries. So if you look here, okay, so the five galleries, the Atom Gallery, Earth, Universe, and Technology, and the Life Gallery, of course. All right. So, so if you miss visiting the Mind Museum, you can also avail of the AR book. So you can order it from us. But for, the, for this Kahoot game, we hope that the winner of this AR book and our other prizes will also enjoy it. And of course, we hope that everyone will learn a lot from this Kahoot game and also get a lot of excitement from it. Okay, so we have okay, so 133 participants. Alright, so are we ready? Okay, so let's wait for a while. Okay, so... Uh, if you have memories of the Mind Museum across its nine years of life, remember to post them on our Facebook page or tweet it, but use the hashtags hashtag happy birthday TMM, hashtag TMM turns nine, and hashtag mind at home. Okay? Yes. So, so we actually have a little surprise for those who we pick uh, for those throwback photos <laughs> and videos of yours. So you'll know that later on during the show. So, okay. for other details, you can also visit www.mindschoolph.org slash promos. And we also want to, want to say that your purchase actually supports our foundation's bigger mission of championing science and art learning for a better world to as many families, including kids and students who, have to, who don't really have access to online learning right now. Okay, so once again, if you're just joining in, welcome to our very special Mind at Home. I'm Mind Mover Aaron and, and I'm Mind Mover Abby. Okay, so we'll be your game masters for this afternoon's The Mind Museum 9th Birthday Kahoot Online Game. Yes. 
Alright, so the prizes are right here. So remember to sign on at kahoot.it and then use the game pin 502362. And then register your entry at tinyurl.com slash tmm at 9. Alright? So, Abby, di ba naka 9 years na yung Mind Museum? Ano yung pinaka-fondest memory mo dito so far? Um, I guess it's, ano, when I was a newbie here at the museum. Tapos we were doing shows, yung mga science shows sa baba. So, there was a time na we had a lot of little kids during the show and I had so much fun playing with them habang nagsishow kami. Kasi, alam mo yun, na-miss mo yung, ano, na-miss mo yung feeling na tumatawa sila, tapos natutuwa sila, and then you see people's eyes light up, especially when they listen, lalo na kasi maraming mga students. So, yun yung isa sa fondest memories ko about the museum. And also, si Stan. <laughs> Oo naman, yung ating uh, dinosaur. Looking at Stan. So, syempre, uh, like na-miss niyo yung damay museum, puntahan yung museum ngayon, we also miss welcoming you here to yes, our exactly. galleries. So, habang hindi pa pwede yun, so we can do games like this and hopefully for our 10th birthday next year, pwede na namin ulit kayong papuntahin yes. dito sa Mind Museum. We hope to see you and to welcome you and to also teach you about the wonders of science here at the museum. Okay. Kaba, Aaron, ano yung pinaka-fondest memory mo dito sa museum? Siguro, uh, hindi siya specific na experience, pero... It's, you're always surrounded with science kasi dito eh. So, it's really fascinating na usually kasi pag sa school, di ba, we hear na mahirap ang science or medyo nakakalito yung ibang concepts. Pero dito, may kita mo kasi na pag pinagdikit-dikit mo sila from the smallest atom to the largest galaxies in the universe, tapos yung applications natin with technology like your phone, your tablet, itong internet, what we're doing ngayon, it helps eh, nakakatuwa siya na we've come this far, di ba? From dati nanguhuli tayo ng animals, <laughs> no hunter gather period, tapos uh -huh. ngayon, nakakapag-usap tayo ngayon, di ba? Through virtual means. Yes, exactly. So, for now, virtual lang talaga ang magagawa nating connection sa mga tao and to the fans of TMM. But we hope that in the very near future, we'll be able to see each other again and you'll be able to experience the amazingness of the Mind Museum. Alright, so uh, we will, uh, okay, so before we start, we'll just take a two minute break. Okay, so we just have to fix a technical difficulty here at the studio. So sit, uh, hang tight, your entries are here. We can see your uh, participants' entries here and we'll be back in two minutes. Yes. Alright? And the game mechanics are actually pinned at the live chat window. So for now, you can go through it and then you can also register if you haven't yet. So we'll be back in a bit.
So hello. Yeah. Okay guys, so welcome back. So we've already fixed our little issues. So we just like to remind you to please um, sign up at Kahoot. So the pin is 502362. Okay? So once you've already generated your name or your name for this game, we are going to ask you to please register at tinyurl.com slash tmmat9. Again, that's tinyurl.com slash at9. So please don't forget to register. Otherwise, we won't be able to contact you and we won't be able to give you the prize if you win. So it's very important to register. That's right. So meron na tayong 154 na participants this afternoon. So ready na ba kayo? So as some of you may already know, Kahoot is a game both of knowledge and speed. So your score is determined kung gano'n nyo kabilis mapipili yung tamang sagot and kung tama yung sagot nyo to start. <laughs> ba? Yes, exactly. Okay? So again, for those nakapapasok lang, we're, welcome to our very special Mind at Home. We'll be your game masters for this afternoon's Kahoot online quiz. So join us at kahoot.it and then use the game pin 502362. After that, register your name, your Kahoot name, your real name, and your contact information at tinyurl.com slash tmm at 9. So that's tinyurl.com slash tmm at and then the number 9. Okay? Oh, 161 na. Oh, grabe! Excited na talaga ako for okay. this. Tingnan natin kung gano'n pa competitive yung ating mga participants ngayon. So, after every question, you'll see your score. Okay? So, you can keep track and kami rin will also keep track of your scores. Alright? So, we can already start. Ready na ba kayo? Good kami, luck, ready, ready na kami. Alright? So, for all 158 of you, let's start with our first question. Alright, first question. Which of the following is not one of the nine members of the group twice? So you have 30 seconds to answer the question. Okay, and then immediately after may kita nyo kung tama kayo or mali. <laughs> Mili ka ba sa K-pop, Abby? Yes, I love K-pop. I especially like the group twice, so I love... Um, right now, actually, LSS nga ako dun sa kanta nila na Likey. It's a rather, ano, like, lumang song na. Oo, pero medyo una sobrang, na yun eh. Ano, sobrang, ano pa rin yung sa akin, nakaka-happy vibes pa rin siya sa akin whenever <laughs> I listen to it. Okay, <laughs> so our correct answer is Jisoo. So, saan sa, sa, sa group kasama si Jisoo? So, Jisoo is a member of Blackpink, which is also another really popular K-pop group. Okay, so alam niya na kung sino sa amin yung K-pop fan mo. Uh, si Alright, so let's move to question number two. Okay, so for question number two. Dog and Fabulous Deer. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Single digit number siya. <laughs> Mara, nine is many things apparently in mathematics. Oh, oh, pero may pizza ba na nine slices lang? I actually never encountered the pizza with nine slices. Nakita ka na ba? <laughs> Parang wala pa. Eight lang, tapos ten na agad. Uh, hindi ko kasi binibilang yung slices, kumukuha na lang agad ako. <laughs> okay, so? Ayan, so... The correct so, answer was all of the, the above. above. Yes. Okay, so perfect square siya kasi it's three squared. It's a composite number because it has the factor three aside from one and nine. And then yung exponential factorial, it means it's 3 raised to 2 raised to 1. Okay? Grabe. So it's all of the above. Dami pa lang ano talaga, identity talaga. Oo, ang dami mo magagawa sa number 9, no? Okay, so let's go to our third question. What does the German word 9 mean? So it's pronounced as 9, but it's a different spelling. <laughs> Oh, yan lang din yun, eh, di ba yung same letters pero oh, oh. rearrange siya. Uh, in, in rearrange nga lang. So 9, if you took up German, 
or if you if you're familiar with the German language, maybe this question would be very easy for you to answer. Cong- congrats, kung na German kayo. Yes, okay. very advantageous. Pero lahat ng choices natin walang kinalaman about numbers, no? Uh, but... So ano kaya yung correct answer? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> the correct answer is the first one. It's no. So nine, nine means, means no. No. Nine, nine. It's no. Nine, nine. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> All right. So in the lead, ah, nagpalit ah, nagpalit lahat. So Dandy Yeti is now in the lead. Ooh. Okay. So let's move to our next question. All right. So for our next question, Cochinella noben notata is the scientific name of which animal? Okay, so yung coccinella, ah, uh, novem notata. It's Latin kasi. So, if you took up Latin, oh yan, so baka may idea kayo of oh. what it's describing. So, kailangan pala magaling ka sa languages for the first few questions. Oh, oh. So, Dapat actually, mo. kami dalawa ni Abby are biologists, pero even kami, hindi namin memorize oh. lahat ng scientific names, okay? As mahirap siya i-pronounce for us. Oh, oh. Alright, so the correct answer is... Okay, it's a nine-spotted ladybug. Ooh. So your typical red ladybug with black spots. So yun yung nine-spotted ladybug. So that's interesting. So it's a fact that you can tell your friends now. Cochinella, noven notata is a nine-spotted ladybug. <laughs> oh, very oh, interesting. My. Yeah. Okay, so let's move to question number five. Okay. A famous idiom <laughs> says that cats have nine lives. What is the scientific name of the domesticated cat? Ang alam ko lang kasi is ano, ming ming. <laughs> oh, ay hindi, yung tawag ko sa kanya. Pss, 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 pss. Or, ano ba yung isa? Meron ka ba? Oo, oh, oh, meron pa na. Or yung ming ming na ba talaga yun? Ming ming ming. <laughs> Ang hirap niya kasi sabihin, di ba? Parang ming 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 ming. <laughs> Pati ibang language ba, may iba rin silang term or way of calling the cat. Ah, encounter ka na. Parang yun narinig ko, puro pss, pss, pss din yung ano, sinasabi nila doon. Okay, so the correct answer is Felis Catus. So, medyo obvious pala na doon sa sagot yung Kasi may cat word na rin na word. <laughs> Oo. Okay. So, Felis Catus pala siya. Alright. Okay, so Rocky Penguin is in the lead. Okay, so let's move to our next, next question. question. So, Pluto used to be the ninth planet in the solar system. What category of celestial body is it now under? So, ano na kaya ang Pluto ngayon? Saan siya nilagay? Uh, nagmamahal. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi merong nakitang heart shape na, na mm. mass sa kanya, di ba? Which Actually. is pa- ice ba? Made of ice yun? Um, we'll have to confirm that with our resident astronomer. Yeah, okay. But anyway, so Pluto is actually put in this category in August of 2006. And... Apart from Pluto, there are actually two other celestial bodies that are under this. So, the answer is, it's a dwarf planet. Other dwarf planets are Eris and Ceres. And then you also have Makemake and Homea. O, oh, diba? Ang dami na. So, All right. in the lead now is Rocky Penguin. Okay, pero dikit pa ang labanan. So, let's move to the next. The letter <laughs> I is the ninth letter of the alphabet. In electricity, what quantity is represented by the letter I? Ano kaya? Naalala mo pa ba yung mga lesson mo sa physics class about this? Uh, hindi. <laughs> well, naalala ko no high school, gumagawa kami ng mga konting electrical circuit. Oh. Nagawa kami ng multimeter. So, may kita mo rin yun, yung letter I doon. Sa mga computation na kailangan mong gawin, no? Sa mga Oo. problem solving. Basta yung naalala ko lang, huwag magtutusok ng tinidor sa poster. <laughs> Kasi, yes. etong letter I na to, ang papatay sa iyo. <laughs> Oh, oh. Safety tip from the mind movers. Wag ito so um tinido. So, All right. Ganun. So the correct answer is current. Okay. So this comes from the French phrase intensité de courant. Mm. So di ako sure kung tama yung pronunciation ko. <laughs> so it comes from the letter I of that phrase. So which means current intensity. So yung intensity pala yung I don't. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So next question. Question number eight. A polygon is a 2D shape with straight sides. What is the name of a polygon with nine sides? So, ano kaya dito? Ah. So, naalala... O, oh, anong class naman ang naaalala mo dito sa polygons? <laughs> well, um, basta may gon. <laughs> uh, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> naalala ko dito yung mga geometry. Yung mga oh, basics oh. pa lang. Ninaim mo sila, bilangin mo yung sides. Diba? Tapos minsan, alam, 
may isa pa pala sa hindi hindi ko nasama. Oo, oh, oh, ang no. hirap minsan magbilang no, lalo pag maliit lang yung diagram. Oo. Oh, oh. So, yeah. ayan. So, the correct answer is nonagon. Nonagon. Okay, yes. so nona means nine. Nine, nine, nine sided sides. polygon. Yes. Alright. Okay. And the lead now is aquatic ant. Mm. Yes, okay. let's go. So, let's move to our next question before we take a short break. Yes. Question number nine. Which element is ninth on the periodic table of elements? Mm, Nako, um, <laughs> dati pinapamemorize sa amin yung uh, periodic uh, table, pero sa bio kasi, laging chons <laughs> pila nga narinimig mo eh. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, Nine. sulfur, nitrogen, inulit ko na yung nitrogen, uh, uh. <laughs> tsaka phosphorus. Uh, phosphorus yes. Okay, so yun yung elements of life. Pero, pero dati may ano pa yung periodic table song pa. It's like, na 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 pa yung Hindi ko alam yan, hindi ko na inabot It yan. was very catchy, that's so why you'd remember at least some of the elements na magkakasunod. <laughs> okay, so the correct answer is fluorine. Yes. Okay, so that's element number nine. So it's also found in your toothpaste that's in fluoride. the form fluoride, the ion form. So, Para walang cavities. <laughs> yeah, so nakatulong siya na patibayin yung nipin. Yes. Okay, so at the end of our first round of questions, si Rocky Penguin ang nasa lead with 8,370 points, followed by Aquatic Ant, Hero Possum, Rational Badger, and Bright Unicorn. So we still have a lot of questions, so tingnan natin kung paano magiging labanan for our next few rounds. But right now, we'd like to talk about some of our Science Wonder Kids! Okay, so kanina, pinag-usapan na natin yung magiging first prize, the What is Nature? Everything is Augmented Reality Book. So ngayon, let's get to know a little bit more yung ating dalawang Science Wonder Kids, the Earth Below and the Sky Above. Okay, so what on Earth are you waiting for? Make learning exciting with this fantastic Earth-themed Science Wonder Kit. The Earth Below, inspired by the Mind Museum's exhibitions and educational programs. Kids and kids at heart will enjoy these six hands-on activities. Okay? Okay, so, dun sa activities pala ng The Earth Below, I've actually had the chance to try them. So, we have the fossils, which you can unearth. So, meron dito mga fossils. Magugulat kayo kung ano yung tura nila. They're very nice. And then you can also make your own paper volcano lab. So, imagine mo yun. You can have it displayed in your room and you can also learn about volcanoes. You can also simulate earthquakes through our mini shape plate and you can discover the power of air of air pressure through our hurricane maker. Hurricane maker, diba? Wow, that's so interesting. And then you can also get creative with the science stickers that are included in the Earth Below pack. Of course. So, syempre, kung meron kang Earth below, dapat merong nasa taas. Incidentally, and dito nga siya sa taas. The sky, the sky above wonder kit. So, explore the universe at home with the science wonder kit, the sky above. Enjoy six hands-on space-themed activities inspired by the Mind Museum's exhibitions and educational programs. So, you can launch a mini rocket. You can light up your very own star lamp. So, nakikita nyo na. Kagawa na lang, tapos mawapailaw yung stars yeah, across the room. May constellation na lalabas through the holes that you punch through the, ano, Tama. So, the you can also explore with your paper craft planetary rover. So, di ba, kalalapag lang ng Perseverance a few weeks back. You can have your own rover at home with the Sky Above Science Wonder Kit. So, you can also stargaze with the star wheel. Yeah. So, makita nyo doon what stars can be found on in yeah, the sky actually, on your birthday. Yeah, I learned how to use it. Tapos, tinitingnan namin, tinitingnan namin sa sky. Tapos, ano ba yung constellation dito? Well, it's a bit hard to do it if there's a lot of light pollution, especially in the city. But you'll see a bit of it and you'll, you'll be able to know which constellations are present at ano, different times of the year. Yeah, so you could also grow your own lettuce and learn about farming in space na walang soil and get creative with cool astro stickers. Yes. So once again, those are your second and third prizes, the Earth Below and, and the, the Sky, sky above. above Science Wonder Kits. Okay, so if you don't win them, you could also get them from the Mind Museum's Facebook page. Yes, you can order your own Science Wonder Kits from the Mind Museum. Alright, so okay na bang break yun? So we can now proceed with the second round of nine questions. I'm so excited! Napansin niyo ba lahat ng questions are all about the number nine? Of Siyempre, course! It's the Mind Museum's ninth, ninth birthday! birthday. <laughs> diba? So ready na ba kayo? We can once again start with our next round of nine questions. So let's go to question number ten. 
In the most hardness scale, what is the reference mineral with the hardness of 9? Alam mo, nung elementary ako, yung teacher ko, pinasa ulo sa amin to. So, until now, hindi ko siya malimutan na nare-recite ko pa siya. So, it's... Oo. <laughs> Siyempre, hindi ko pa pwede sabihin. <laughs> so, yung, yung silbi kasi nung hardness scale, pag mas mataas yung number, kaya niyang sirain yung mga nasa ilalim, no? So, so, you can scratch. Pag mas mataas siya sa scale, kaya niyang i-scratch yung, yung mas nasa mababa. baba. Oh. Okay, so, pinakamataas is number 10. Yes. Okay, pero yung tanong is the number 9. Yes. So, alin dito ang number 9? Okay. So, the answer is... Uh, Corundum. Yon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hindi ko na siya ma ano. <laughs> ano yung mas common na nakikita natin so, cor- forms ng corundum? So, the most common or the more common forms are actually the very valuable things. Like, ruby when it's red and sapphire when it's some other color. So, yun pala yung mga nasa ano, jewels ng mga ano, mayayama ng mga oh, monarchy. Diba? Wow, so it's a very, ano pala. And just above it is actually diamond. So, diamond is the number 10. Oh, so number 10, siya na yung highest. Mm-hmm. Only another diamond can scratch another diamond. Yes. Okay? Alright. So, in the lead now is Rational Badger. Gra- grabe talaga, <laughs> grabe yung mix-up nila. Ang bilis. Napaka-competitive, ah. Okay, so let's move to question number 11. 9 square feet is equivalent to a square what? Okay, so mag, medyo magko-convert ka ng units dito ng konti. So, kailangan ng ano, math skills and brain power to... Naku, sanay pa naman tayo ng meters, centimeters Uh-oh. ang gamit. Okay, so yung metric system kasi is based on units of 10, di ba? So, 10 millimeters, 1 centimeter. Okay, so dun sa imperial, it's based on units of 12. Uh-oh. Kasi so, iba-iba yung pangalan we're nila. We're not accustomed to it. Wala siyang ano... Oh, except sa height. <laughs> Alam ko yung height ko in feet and inches, hindi meters. Ako din, actually. <laughs> Oo, oh, no? So Mas the correct yun. answer is, it's a square yard. Okay, so kasi one, one yard is equal to 3 feet. So... Uh, 3 times 3, 9. So, that's 9 square feet. So, isa siyang square yard. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So, kasi 1 square yard times 1 square yard. Mm-hmm. Uh, 1 yard times 1 yard. <laughs> 1 square yard. Okay? Yes. So, ganun pa rin siya. Alright? So, talaga na iron sa mat. Grabe. <laughs> so, hindi naman po masyado. May practice lang po para today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, si National Badger pa rin yun nasa lead natin. Wow. Let's okay. go. Let's move to question number 12. Which animal, apart from humans, carries a fetus for about nine months? Alright. So, yung mga ano, yung mga animals, actually iba-iba yung time nila na mag-carry ng ano, nag-carry ng young nila. So, elephants can actually, African elephants actually can take 22 months. And I know that a shark actually takes 3.5 years. Ang tagal naman, no? gestation period nila. So, grabe. Sobrang tagal pala. Yung, akala mo yung nine months. Long time na. Yun pala. Oh, oh. Yung iba, mas matagal pa. So, the correct answer is cows. So, cows carry their young for nine months. So, in the lead now is hero cat. Oh, parang bagong pangalan ata. Yes, so. oh, Ngayon ko na siya nakita sa leaderboard. But wow, that's so amazing. Okay, All let's right. move to question 13. Despite being the ninth month of the year, the sept in September actually represents which number? Ah, related to dun sa yung gon gon kanina, mm. yung hexagon. Uh, uh, so, yes. kailangan na dito ng konting Latin background? <laughs> ah, hindi naman. <laughs> Common enough naman to, pero... Sa bagay. Oo, no, weird nga siya kasi yung September is the ninth month. Pero base dito sa tanong na to, hindi siya yung pang 9. Hindi ibig sabihin ng sep. So ano kaya siya? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so the correct answer is 7. Okay, 7, so, sep. Sep, parang septagon. 7 side, September, 7th month. Pero Septimus paano nangyari na pang 9th na siya ngayon? So paano nga ba? So the Roman calendar was only 10 months long. So, it's ma- Martius or March um, to December. Martius, yun yung dating pangalan uh, ng March. So, to December. So, after adding January and February in 46 BC, September was moved and it became the ninth month. So, hindi na siya 7, hindi ninth na siya. Mm, pero may nabasa ako na like, ginusto sana ni Lena palitan kasi nga mm. September 7, pero pang 9 siya. <laughs> pero hindi siya natuloy. So, yan uh, siya. It's the ninth month na-udlo hanggang ngayon. Siya. Oh, okay. So, let's move to our 
next question. This is a very interesting question. So nine is a significant number to J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. In his series, there are nine blank. So for Lord of the Rings fans, there you can easily answer this. Ano kaya ito? Nabasa mo na ba yan? Complete? Hindi pa. But I watched the movies. I would like to read it someday. <laughs> Actually, ako hindi ko rin natapos yung movies kasi mahaba eh. Diba? Like Uh-oh. three hours ba? Mm-hmm. Isang... Movie. Ma marathon mo talaga siya. Oh, there are three movies, and then like for the Hobbit, tatlo din siya. Because mm-hmm. the one book lang yung Hobbit, pero tatlo siya. So yun talaga okay. yung sinubay pa yun karen. All right. So the answer now is rings for mortal men. So the specific code for this is actually nine for mortal men doomed to die. So nine yung Nazgul. If ano if. I remember correctly, so they're called ring rates. Okay. So they na kuhan rings. Mm, anyway, okay. moving on. So in the lead now is Hero Cat. Okay. All Next right. question. Number fifteen. Which sport has a standard game of nine innings? Nine innings. <laughs> I'm not really familiar um, with the games. <laughs> bilang atasya ng something, no? Uh oh. Hindi ako ano. Hindi ako fan ng mag. Ay hindi kasi ako very sporty person. Well, so, dati yung nagsusports ako pero uh, I think most of us nung pandemic <laughs> biglang nakahiga na lang. Uh, we're just ganun. inside. Okay, so sure, important pa rin na mag-exercise a lot, okay? okay? So the correct answer is. It's baseball. Okay, so there are nine innings in a standard game of <laughs> baseball. baseball. Okay, so let's move to question 16. The number nine appears on products all the time. So this practice is called blank. So kung mm-hmm. pa shopping tayo, di ba? Instead na, ano, instead na sakto yung nakalagay, parang 149, 999, nine, nine, nine. instead of 1,000, ayaw pa nila i-sakto, ano, diba? So, bakit kaya? Ano kayong tawag doon? Hmm. Yan, ito yung sagot dyan. <laughs> yung kung ano man yung mapipiling, kung ano yung correct answer Uh-oh. dyan, diba? So, magugulat kayo kung ano yung sagot dito. Oo, sabi pa nga nila, mas maraming 9, mas malaki yung chance na kunin mo yung item. Kasi, <laughs> because of psychological pricing. Hmm, that's interesting. That's okay. okay. So, <laughs> Ayan. And the lead now is Genius Duck. Oh, Bago I like ulit. the name. Genius Duck. Okay. Kaya leading. The Let's genius. move to question 17. Calliope is one of the nine blanks in Greek mythology. Hmm. Ako munta ka na ba sa Greece? <laughs> Hindi pa. Pero I dream of going there. But I do like reading about Greek mythology. So Uh-oh. I grew up reading about all the characters there. <laughs> Pero ganda, whatever I get my hands on. Ganda buildings doon. Like, Uh-oh. Isipin mo, super luma na like yung Pantheon. Yes, the architecture is oh, fascinating. Hanggang ngayon. Talaga. Especially in government buildings, kinukopya pa rin siya oh, hanggang ngayon. Oh, talaga. Oh, oh. Someday. <laughs> okay, so the correct answer is Muses. Yes. Calliope is one of the nine Muses of Greek mythology. Yes, if you okay? watched Hercules, <laughs> she's there, I okay, think. Okay, so let's move to the last question of this round. What sweet is the curse of Scotland? Nine card. Oh, this is a very interesting ano then question oh, oh. then. So one story actually says that the curse of Scotland card is because the card, yung ituro ng card yun, actually looks similar to the coat of arms of someone who um actually enabled a massacre. Okay. So it's called the Glencoe massacre, and it's actually one of the inspirations for the famous Red Wedding in Game of Thrones. So see, the answer is nine of diamonds. Ah, uh, so yung yung seal, no? Ah, uh, uh, yung coat of arms. Ah, uh, okay. Niya. Kamukha Same. siya ng? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ng card na yun. So okay. it's called Curse of Scotland. And in the lead now is Genius Duck. Okay, so that's the end of round two. So now we'll be taking an, a little short break to talk about one of the other projects of the Bonifacio Art Foundation. Okay? So the Bonifacio Art Foundation Incorporated is actually made of four projects. The Mind Museum, the BJC Art Center, the BJC Public Art Program, and Mind School, ang pinaka latest nating addition to the family. <laughs> so, Mind School Online is an online subscription for connected learning through K 12 aligned video lessons and resources. Now, on its second season about living things and the environment, so that's actually hosted by 
Mind Movers, Aaron Espinosa and Abby na pe. Kilala mo ba yun? Sino parang talaga yun? Parang familiar sila. Parang nakita ko sila somewhere. Oo, parang maganda daw yung tinuturo nila Oo, doon. Oo, magaling so, daw silang host. Narinig ko. <laughs> Oo, so na-cover daw nila lahat. Plants, animals, fungi, bacteria, and mm-hmm. protists. So like the kingdoms of life. Wala silang ano, inimang stone and turf. Oo, so the first episode of season 2 is free. You can go to mindschoolph.org yeah. and uh, sign up before you can watch seasons 1 and 2, episodes 1 for free. So season 1 was about matter. So yes. that was hosted by Mind Movers Mario and Megan. And uh, season 2 is about living things and the environment. Yes. Okay, so that's actually our 7th, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4th to 6th prizes. Yes. You'll get subscriptions to season 1 of uh, Mind School, School Online. So all 10 episodes. Yeah. So okay. You- you can watch a trailer at the mindschoolph.org website. Okay, so that was Mind School Online. So later, after the third round, we'll tell you about another part of Mind School. Yes. One na baka nakita nyo na nga sa TV eh. But we'll talk, uh, we'll get to that later. Okay, so let's move on to the third round of nine questions. So let's start with question number. Na tayo. Oh, oh. Oh, bilis, let's start with question number nineteen. In the ocean, blanks, blank or blanks, submerge about nine tenths of their mass beneath the water. Nine tenths lang, so hindi lahat. So one tenth lang yung hindi. <laughs> so this is actually because these things are make up actually nine tenth of the density of. Sea water. So, mm, ano so, kaya ito? Ano kaya yung... Oh, so, since 9 tenths lang siya, nakasing bigat ng tubig, mm. 9 tenths yung nakalubog mm. underwater. Yes. Okay, so the correct so, answer is pa. icebergs. Yes. Okay, so napakalaki pa ng iceberg sa ilalim nung nakikita nyo. Kaya, kaya laging at the tip of the... Ano, oh, oh, the tip, tip of the, the iceberg. Yes. Kasi 1 tenth lang yun. Yes. Yung actual size niya. Okay. So, Genius Duck is still in the lead. Let's move to question number 20. This is one of my favorite questions. So as of 2020, which among the following artists has released nine studio albums? Katatapos lang ng Grammys, di ba? Yes, hindi ko pa siya fully napapanood, but I've already seen some of the amazing performances there. Oh, oh tapos most of our winners ngayon are female, no? Yes, di ba? Yes, empowered. Yes, go ladies! Nakaka-excite! It's a good it's a good year for music. <laughs> oh no. Lahat ng choices natin Grammy winners na yes. no. At um, least once. Uh uh very legendary people all here, but let's see who has nine studio albums. So the correct answer is Miss Taylor Swift. Yeah. So Taylor Swift actually has nine albums including Taylor Swift, Fearless, Speak Now, Red 1989, Reputation, Lover, Folklore, and Evermore. So Dami nga niya a studio album and she won album of the year with folklore. Okay, so, so hindi lang siya K-pop fan like Swifty din siya. <laughs> My gosh, yes. I cannot. <laughs> okay, ako random lang yung music choices ko eh. Okay, let's move to question number 21. Which band wrote the song 9 in the Afternoon? Nine ah, ito, pinapakinggan ko to. <laughs> hindi ko na maalala. Very nostalgic <laughs> song. Oh, Chill lang siya eh, nakante. Oh. Like, pero yung lyrics, it's another story. <laughs> I <laughs> remember watching this when I was a kid and I was weirded out by the lyrics, but it's still catchy. Oh, oh ganun yun. Pag maganda yung melody, yun yung uh-huh. pag masaya ka. Pag malungkot ka, yung lyrics yung papakinggan mo. <laughs> diba? <laughs> okay, so the correct answer is Panic at the Disco. Yes. Of course. So we- nakikita mo yung age natin kasi... Panic at the Disco. Oh, nahala tayo edad. Sorry po. Okay. So, in the lead now is Fabulous Dear. Bago Fabulous ulit. Dear. Okay, let's move to question number 22. So, a US men's size 9 shoe fits a foot that's about black in leg. Magkano ka ba mag ano? Sukat na. Yung alam ko magpalit between men's and women's. Pero, uh, yung actual na sukat sa paa, hindi masyado. Basta yung alam ko, kunyari, size 9 ka sa men's. Size 11 dapat yung kunin mo oh, sa women's. Really? Kung kukuha ka lang. Pag US ha, US size. Mm-hmm. Halos laging plus 2 siya lagi. Kaya yung isa nating mind mover dito, pag nangihiram ako ng boots, kasha siya. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi magka-size ka. Uh, pa. Ako ano, sinusukat ko lang talaga. And the correct answer is 
10 inches. So you US size 9 shoe fits a foot that's about 10 inches in length. So, okay. yeah. so 10 to 10 and a half inches. Depends on so manufacturer. So in the lead, still is fabulous dear. Okay, let's move to question number 23. 23. Which kinds of arthropods have at least 9 pairs of legs? Mm. Okay, so uh, a little clue dun sa sagot. <laughs> so these include the groups of centipedes and millipedes. So both centipedes and millipedes are classified under this group of arthropods. Yes, may have seen legs. Yeah. So, eh, pero centipede, hundreds daw, di ba? Pero, mm. no, that's not true. <laughs> bilang, try nga natin bilang. <laughs> Tingnan natin kung ilan talaga. <laughs> oh, hindi totoo yun. So the correct answer is myriapods. Yes, okay, so myriapods. So centipedes and millipedes are myriapods under arthropods. Oh, you can use that as a fun fact again. Okay, let's move to question 24. So according to the universal numbering system of teeth, the ninth tooth in the human mouth is... Ano kaya? Well, pinagtatalunan namin ito ng mga tagal kahapon. <laughs> We've gone through a lot of resources. So, medyo sigurado naman kami sa pinili namin sagot for this. So, uh, remember na yung universal numbering system yung binabasehan natin. So, so meron pa yung chart, di ba? Para i-assign mo for uh -oh. each. So, baka so, iba yung na ma ma yung naisip nyo sa sagot. Pero sundan nyo yung sa system na to. Uh, Bilang-bilang na ng ipen, ganon. <laughs> okay. So, the correct answer is incisor. Yeah. So, the ninth is the central incisor. Am yeah. I so, kung bibilangin mo siya, starting from here, so, the left incisor is one. Pa atras, pa punta sa wisdom tooth mo, that's number eight. Yes. And then, so yung number nine is this Para, one. So nine uh, the right incisor. Alright. So ang leading na ngayon, Aaron, I see cute dolphin. Iba na naman yung leader yes. natin. <laughs> Grabe talaga. Okay. Ang ng game na to. Oh, oh. Question 25. Which Hong Kongese urban zone's name literally translates to nine dragons? Nine dragons. Wow, ang ganda naman ng name na yun. But nine dragons, or <laughs> it's called nine dragons. <laughs> Because according to sources, it said that the name was given to this place as a reference to the eight mountains and one emperor. Kaya siya nine dragons. It's interesting. Ah, so yun emperor dragon de. Siguro. Oh, uh, sige. Basta sabi nila eight mountains and one emperor. Uh -oh. So let's assume. Sige, yun na lang reference natin. Yes, but it's hard to pronounce it. Okay, so the correct answer is Kowloon. Kowloon. So the Kowloon Urban Zone translates to Nine, Nine dragons. dragons. That's a very fascinating name. Okay, next question. Okay. So there are about 9 calories per gram of blank. Ay, bakit naman may pag-atake? <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, usapang pagkain mga, naman. Ano, oh, pero ito sa mga weight conscious or sa mga health conscious. Oo, oh, so you can actually compute this. Like, ginagamit uh, siya, no? So, kukunin mo kung ilang grams yung pagkain mo. Tapos, imumultiply mo siya by this num uh, these numbers. So, depende kung anong food nga yun, kung anong type uh -oh. siya. Okay, so, alit kaya sa apat na basic biomolecules yung may 9 calories? So, the answer is fats. Fats? Well, fats. makes sense, di ba? Mm. Kasi energy store siya ng body. So, the rest kasi, di ba, 3 calories each lang. Yeah, depende sa source, pero pwede siya compute na 3 calories yes. per gram. So, in, still in the lead is cute dolphin. <laughs> okay, so let's move to the last question for this round. Yes. In the Christmas song, 12 Days of Christmas, <laughs> there were nine of what? Nako, alam, hanggang five lang yung memorize ko dito. Hindi ko rin siya sa ulo. Like, I can hum it, but uh -oh. no. Basta so, may... kung sa ulo mo itong kantang to, good for you. Uh -oh. Basta yung one, may part three, gin a pear tree. Uh -oh. So, alam nyo ba, roughly nine months na lang, bago ulit magpasko. Oh, I'm so excited! Oo, oh, wala nang pasko sa Pilipinas. Pasko pa rin ang hinahanap ni Abby. Oo, oh, nine months na lang pasko na. Pero actually, masaya siya kasi maririnig mo na naman yung mga masasayang awitin, yes. di ba? Uh, okay. I'm ready to sing the Christmas songs again. Oo, oh, oh. so the correct answer is nine ladies dancing. Okay. So, that's the end of the third round of questions. Ang in the lead ay si Cute Dolphin. Wow, okay, grabe so, talaga yung ano, no? Per level. Iba iba talaga in the oh, lead. Nakakaba. I-secure nyo na yung uh, position na yan. Pero meron pang nine questions. So, isip-isip din. So, basta lahat ng tukul sa number nine, kaya nyo yan. Okay. okay. So, once again, if you'd like to talk about uh, our Kahoot online game ngayon, or you have a memory of a very fond memory of your visit here at the Mine Museum. Post it on the Mine Museum's Facebook page 
or uh, tag us on Instagram at the Mind Museum or at Mind the School. Yeah. Okay, and then use the hashtags hashtag Happy Birthday TMM hashtag TMM Turns Nine and hashtag Mind at Home. Mind at home. So merong special prize para sa mga mapipili namin na nakaantig puso na <laughs> na mga yes. memories from the Mind Museum. Alam mo, okay? Aaron, yung first time ko makapunta sa Mind Museum, I was still a teenager. <laughs> ano laga? Tapos ngayon, hindi na ako teenager. Ay, naku, hindi na mahala <laughs> ta- I, I never thought that I would be working here. And it's so fun to work here kahit na may pandemic. At least, I still get to learn every single day about a lot of things about science and art. Oh, so kaya nga lumabas yung Mind the School, di ba? Kasi it was born out of the pandemic mm-hmm. to answer a problem na yun nga, kasi hindi lahat nakapunta to school, di ba? Yeah, to be able so, to reach out to people then and to help them learn while they're here. Yeah, so pwedeng masupplement ng Mind the School yung learning sa nakukuha niyo in the classroom or kung parents na kayo you can help your ch- children or kayo kung may gusto kayong bagong matutunan like say for example hindi po halama ng mga seaweed okay so kulay green sila mukha silang dahon Ayan. pero hindi sila halaman <laughs> so since malapit na rin tayo matapos why don't we take a commercial break first to give people a breather okay okay so we'll give you a two minute break Okay, so rest up muna, recharge your brain, and your scores will stay here, okay? Yes.
choose. Please don't refresh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so welcome back. So grabe, ang intense ng first three rounds natin. Oh, okay, diba? Mas intense din ng tong fourth round natin, which oh, is our oh. final round. So, sobrang intense, hindi kinakaya ng kahoot. Ang gagalin niyo kasi. Uh -oh. Okay, so if you're seeing uh, connection issues, please do not refresh your tab kasi mawawala lahat ng scores niyo, babalik kayo to zero. Yes. So wait until it reconnects, okay? So we'll now start with our fourth round. So let's go okay. to question number 28. 28. Okay, grab it. Any number is divisible by 9 if the blank of its digits is a multiple of 9. So, ano kaya ito? May mga divisibility rules to, di ba? Ah, well, <laughs> basta yung naalala ko yung 4, 6. Kailangan uh, divisible siya by both 2 and, and 3. 3. Uh -huh. Tapos yung by 5, of course, has to add in 5 or 0. Uh Oo, -oh, di ba? So, yung 7, medyo complicated, tsaka uh -oh. 11 eh. Actually. Uh Oo, -oh. so yung sa 9, ano siya? Ah, oh, hula. <laughs> Hindi hulaan. Sana alam nyo <laughs> oh, what oh, is diba? the answer to this question. So the answer is the sum. Okay? Okay. So in the lead now is still cute dolphin. <laughs> okay, fast pace tayo ngayon. Yes. Let's move to question number 29. In both the myth of Zebalba and the book The Divine Comedy, there are nine levels of which kind of domain? Mm, so you might have heard of the character Zibalba from uh -huh. the Book of Life. So she's oh, Zibalba is actually married to La Muerte in the story. But the Book of but apart from the Book of Life, Zibalba is actually a place or the name of a place in Mayan mythology. Oh. So ano kaya ang Zibalba? Okay, so we have At ang, ano, okay, five seconds. Levels. Okay, so ano kaya yung common kay Zibalba in the Divine Comedy? It's the underworld. There the are underworld. nine levels of the underworld. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move to question number 30. Which composer created nine symphonies before their passing? Grabe, medyo oh, oh. challenging tong question na to. You have to know, I know. The Just the yung classic symphony part. kasi, it's for an orchestra, eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, iaayos mo pa yan, yung strings, yung brass, the, the, the gift wind. of these people. Grabe oh, oh, it's a talent talaga to, com to compose. Mahilig ka ba sa classical music? Minsan, <laughs> oo. Pero, syempre, ano, depende sa genre, oh, tsaka sa generation mo, di ba? So, like sa BGC Art Center, we have the Pinoy Playlist Music oh. Festival. Okay, so the answer is Ludwig van Beethoven. Okay, dan-dan-dan-dan. Uh, the very famous dan-dan-dan-dan. <laughs> okay, so let's move to question number 31. The phrase on cloud nine is sometimes attributed to a 1950s name for which kind of cloud? So in science classes natin, di ba? Diniscuss oh, natin yung ibang, oh, ibang kinds of clouds. Merong, yan yung apat mong choices. Meron nga rin aso eh. <laughs> di ba? So one of us, actually one of our mind movers has a dog named Cloud. Yes, Tapos, our very beloved Cloud. So, from, as in, ano, lalaki ba si Cloud? Oh, oh lalaki diba? si Cloud. He's as white as a cloud. Mukha talaga siyang yes. cotton ball. Sobrang cute niya. Mukha siyang Cloud. Oo, oh, so <laughs> alin dito sa apat na klase yun? So that's actually your... Cumulonimbus cloud. Mm. Okay, so let's move to question number 32. All last right. five. Messier 9 is a globular cluster in which constellation? Hmm, this is a very Ako, interesting astronomy question. astronomy na. Hmm, wala kasi yung mind hooper natin in charge of astronomy. <laughs> so, globular cluster, ano ba yung ibig sabihin nun? Mahilig ka bang tumingin sa mga constellation? Ah, Kapag nakikita ko sila Kapag kasi, nakikita. well, oo, oh, diba, sasabihin sa atin, ito kasi yung Big Dipper, diba? Pero minsan kasi dito sa Metro Manila, mahirap nang hanapin eh kasi baka sobrang baba or maano, alikabo. So the answer is Ophiuchus. So it's one of the 13 zodiacal constellations. So si Ophiuchus ang sagot. Alright. Okay, let's move to question number 34. At 33, sorry po. Okay. NGC 9 is a spiral galaxy close to which constellation? So, another question oh, constellation about space. So, so, NGC is a spiral galaxy pala? Oh, tulad ng Milky Way, di ba? Mm -hmm. Pero sa atin kasi, it's a barred mm -hmm. uh, spiral galaxy. So, merong bilog mo, tapos merong ka pang linya uh -huh. before mag-spiral. So, so they... si NGC ba siya? Uh, diretso? Spiral agad siya? Ata. So, 
it's about 140 million light years away. Oh. It's very, very far. Oh, and it's found in the constellation Pegasus. Yes. Okay, let's move to question number 34. So Cloud9 is a well-known surfing destination in which province of the Philippines? So yung mga mahilig mag-surf dyan or mga mahilig mag-travel, you might know where this is. Oh, nababalitan ko ngayon kasi laging maganda yung waves, maganda yung size, yung dalas. Tapos kahit beginner papunta sa mga pros, kaya nila siya. Maganda yung, daw pala oh, dito sa place na to. And hopefully when things are better, much better, no? I know, oh, we can finally go outside and visit this place. Oh, oh. Pero, Try naman natin mag-surfing. <laughs> Oo, oh, pero bumalansi nga sa skateboard, hindi ko kaya. <laughs> Ayan, practice na natin. Alright, so the answer is, it's in Surigao del Norte. Yes, the very famous surfing destination. Yes, cloud nine. Okay, let's move to our penultimate question. Question number 35. <gasps> in which of the following fields is the number 9 often pronounced as Niner? niner. Interesting. Ngayon ko rin ang na-encounter tong ano na to. Oo, I think it's ano kasi para mas clear siya na oh. alam agad nung nakikinig sa'yo na nine yung sinasabi mo. Kasi pwede atang marinig as something else pag nine lang. So alam kaya dito yung mga choices na to. It's very diverse yung mga fields. Oo, ba? Aviation, biology, chemistry, dentistry. Parang pwede lahat number nine eh. Uh, <laughs> it works with all fields eh. Uh, sabi mo, oh it's a niner. <laughs> Oo, pero yung nagpo-pronounce lang ng nine as niner is in Aviation. Aviation. Wow. Okay. So let's move on to our last question. So, question number 36. Yes! We're finally at the end. Which of these animals has an average lifespan of 9 years? So 9 years old at 9 years of lifespan ng animal na to. Ano kaya oh, oh. sa mga to? Wala siya sa choice. Walang dog. Oh, well, oh. 10 kasi, di ba? Pag mm. dogs. Average 10 to 12. Kamusta na naman yung dog mo ngayon? Ilang uh, na siya? <laughs> uh, magtuto na siya, tapos ay, buntis na po siya. Yes. <laughs> Tingnan natin kung nine din yung puppies niya. Uh, uh, sali, sali naman hindi, kasi oh, diba oh, chihuahua diba? siya. Okay. Ayan. So the answer is, the European rabbit. Okay, so that's the end of our 36 questions. Let's see our top 3 muna, ay, then we'll look at top 4 to 9. In third place is Fabulous Deer. In second place is Hero Possum. Ooh. And in first place Dun -dun -dun. is... Cute, Cute Dolphin! Dolphin! So congratulations okay. to our top three. Congratulations. So Cute Dolphin, you just won a What is Nature? Everything is AR book. Hero Possum, you won at the Earth Below Science Wonder Kit. And Fabulous Deer, you won the Sky, Sky Above. Above Science Wonder Kit. Yeah, so okay. congratulations. Grabe, sobrang hikpit ng laban. And thank you to everyone for joining. Okay, so we'll just uh, uh, please wait a few minutes as I check because yes. you nanalo from 4th to 9th place. So don't forget to register at tinyurl.com slash tmmat9. So dun namin kasi makukuha yung information nyo when we reach out to you if you're one of the winners. So again, please don't forget to register at tinyurl.com slash tmm at 9. Okay? Ayan, so now we're going to check sino pa ang, ano, sino pa ang mga winners natin, sino makakatanggap ng mga mask, at sino makakatanggap ng Mind School Online na Season Pass for Season 1. Pag pumasok mo sa <laughs> okay, sorry. So kanina sabi natin na Mind School Online was just one half of yes. the Mind School project. Okay, so the second half is Mind School TV. So ano naman yung meron sa Mind School TV, Abby? So Mind School TV is actually a family educational show about how things are connected across the sciences and the arts. So for our hosts for Mind School TV, we have Mind Mover T-shirt and Mind Mover Mikey. So you can catch them at Colors, Channel 202 HD, and Channel 60 SD on Saturdays at 9 a.m. And at 1 PH, Channel 1 on Sundays at 10 a.m. And also, they're streaming for free on Signal Play and the Mind School YouTube channel. So you can catch them in a lot of places. So don't hesitate to watch them, okay? Oh, and almost all of them for free, right? Yes, grab it for free, yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, so now I have here the rest of the lineup for the top nine. Mm. Okay, so listen carefully and I will check again if uh, you're the one. Yeah, you're the one. Okay. one. So from fourth to sixth place, 
who won season passes to Mindy School Online Season 1. So those are Wonder Ostrich, yes, Rational yes. Badger, and Creative Ibex. Yes, ang, ang gagaling talaga ng names nila. Oh, so again, so that's Wonder Ostrich, Rational Badger, and Creative Ibex. Congratulations, you just won subscriptions of season passes to Mindy School Online Season 1. We're very sure you're going to enjoy it as you've worked hard on it and it's a very engaging, interesting, and educational show. Alright, and from 7th to 9th place, who won the Mind Museum face mask yes, for adults face. and kids sizes? So those are Hero Cat, Rocky Penguin, and Dandy Zebra. Ah, congrats guys! You're going to get these really, really cute masks from the Mind Museum. So I need space. Baliktad pala siya, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I need space. And he'll also have the astronaut themed masks. So they're very cute and also they're very functional. You can even put filters inside. Okay, so for all nine uh, winners, please wait uh, until we email you to mm. ask about how you will be receiving your prizes. Okay. okay, so please remember to take a screenshot of the winning uh, screen. So, yes. may kita nyo sa phones nyo, tablets, or laptops. Yung rank if, nyo. Which place, anong rank nyo yung napalanunan nyo. And then, okay, and then wait until the Mind Museum reaches out to you and then we'll verify if you are these animals. Yes. Kasi puro hayo pa yun, uh, So, we have to know. <laughs> so, we, ha we need the proof. Yeah. Uh oh. So, I guess that's it for our yes. Mind Museum 9th birthday Kahoot Online Quiz. Yes. So thank you very much to everyone who participated. We hope you had a great time with us. We certainly had a great time with you. And we learned a lot from this. Grabe, no? And dami, oh, pala, and dami pala mga facts and trivia that are related to the number 9. Oo. Oh, oh. So kanina, naalala nyo, di ba? We asked you to post throwback photos and posts of your stays here at the Mind Museum. So, di ba? Time flew by so fast. Ngayon, and even the 9 years, the Mind Museum yes. has been already here in BGC. So speaking of throwbacks, you could get a chance to win a Mind Museum surprise loot bag by sharing those stories, photos, and videos at the Mind Museum. Okay? But, but wait, wait, there's, there's more. more! So to celebrate our ninth birthday, here's another special treat. So you can get all three, which is the What is Nature, AR Book, and the Science Wonder Kits, the two Science Wonder Kits for only 3,000 pesos. So you get to save 650. So again, if you purchase all three, our AR book and the two Science Wonder kits, you can get them for our promo price of 3,000 pesos instead of 3,650. So, di ba? Nakadiyan ng savings oh, nila doon. Oo, sulit siya. So, pwede mo na nga siya sa tatlong iba't ibang tao. Di ba? Sigurado Or, akong lahat silang matutuwa sa makukuha nila. Nine months pa bago magpasko. So, pwede ka na bumili ngayon oh, pa lang. Oh, di ba? Para sakto. Oh, so in you preparation. Could, oh, oh, so, you could get these from the Mind Museum Facebook page or at mindschool.org slash promos. So, that's M-I-N-D-S-C-O-O-L dot O-R-G slash promos. So, check out those places for more details. Okay, so thank you very much for joining us today. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mind is Cool, and follow us at the Mind Museum at Mind is Cool PH on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to the Mind is Cool YouTube channel kung saan na panood tong ating Kahoot Online Quiz Show this afternoon. So again, thank you, and we hope that everyone stays safe. Okay. So bye!